Hello, how are you doing? This is the second video about the new UWPD series. We do some hands-on here and I show you how the system works. Okay, before we start, as always, this is a video for internal use only. So don't share the link with anyone outside the company. If you have any questions, um, if you have any ideas how could do the video better, then write it down in the comment fields. If you haven't seen the video number one, uh, where I show the overall view about the system, then have a look in the description. And if you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. That's okay. We talk today about the new fourth generation of the UWPD series, or the 40 series, or the new UWPD series. <laughs> Um, let me switch to the desktop and then I show you what we can do with this series. Okay, here's my desktop and you see the full series um, or you see everything we show on IBC and everything we start selling in the begin of October. Again, for you, just a short description. That is the URX P40 the new one channel receiver this is the utx b40 that's the new belt or body pack the utx p40 is the plug-on and the utx m40 is the handheld and this is the new smat p5 mi shoe good way again we don't show a two channel receiver this is coming next year i guess on nab let's do a size comparison first then you can see one of the most important points that we change the weight and the size. Do this away here and let's have the comparison to the UTX B03. So this is the bring it. So this is the B03 and this is the new B40. Yeah, it's thinner, is smaller and is lighter. Let's look at the plug-on. There's also a dramatic change in size. So the new plug-on is a little bit thinner and about, I don't know, 15, 20% smaller. Also here in, in this size and has even a stronger mechanism for holding the XLR microphone. So what you do is you take one of the microphones you like to use Click it, click it on and job done. So this is the typical way how to use a plug-on. You see this in the US every day in television, um, but of course you can use also a shotgun. We have the receiver. Of course, I have only the two channel receiver with me, but you see there's a big difference between the two receivers, the one channel and the two channel. So um, you see also the comparison of the size. Um, so it's a little bit thinner. And there's also a different in weight. Uh, I think also the receiver is about 10% lighter than the existing one. Let's have a look on the MI shoe. That is the new MI shoe, the SMAT P5. The new MI shoe works for the one channel receiver, but also in the future for an hopefully available two channel receiver. So this is much better than the existing versions of the SMAT adapter. This adapter can handle one and two channel receivers. Very simple to Mount it, take the rubber away, plug it in and fix the screw. That's all. If I do this now, uh, where is the old one, which is this here, and I slide it in. And then you see there is really a big difference in size now, yeah? Um, so. That's why we show in the, in the catalog and the brochures a difference about 20% in size. That's always include the MI shoes. Let's have a look also on the plug-on. Um, on the old plug-on, we had the standard battery case, this one. Um, and now we have a lid, which is much better. Um, secured against any moisture or rain. So there's a small rubber here around, which seals the, the battery the battery pack. It's a little bit 
yeah, from my point of view, a little bit more complicated with the screw. The screw is a little bit too small, but anyway, it is as it is. Um, let's look on the handheld. There's some big difference. It has the same mechanism to change capsule. So by adapter, you can use capsules from Sennheiser or Neumann or Audix. This is the big, big difference to the Sennheiser one. On the Sennheiser handheld, you have to use the capsule which Sennheiser deliver, which is, of course, not the best quality overall. It's a dynamic capsule like our capsule, um, but overall, if the whole transmitter is around 350 to 400 euros, then you cannot see a 300 euro capsule on top. But if the customer like to have a better capsule, he can use the Sony, take the Sony capsule off and use the capsule he like, battery housing and the hand grip. Now that's much better than before from my point of view because now the thread is here on top and it's not aluminium on aluminium which gives you some strange noises. You see on all transmitters the NFC logo here. The NFC logo is something which I show you in, this, in the next video where we have a look on the system, how it works. A little bit longer video than I expected, sorry for this. But now you know all the mechanics about the system and in the next video, we switch it on, believe me.